Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Dice and Sphere program where I've made some sweeping updates since the last uh, since the last video and most of that is involved around this enormous rocket launching park that I've built put together here. So let's zoom out a little bit further. Um, in the previous video, in the previous uh, episodes or two, I've been, I've been I've I've had these rockets launching uh, from well, basically this this many rocket launch silos. But now I've managed to massively boost the amount number of rockets that are going out in order to get this going a little bit quicker. And so this the um the, at the moment I'm playing in that sort of that sort of phase of the game where you go, okay, I need to launch these rockets as quickly as possible, get as many of them going up there because I need massive massive numbers of them. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at all the stuff that's being fed in over here and try and work out which steps are are struggling. And so we've got uh, um, we've got ooh, a number a number of different things happening over here. So we're building we're putting together all of these um, all the bits and pieces for these uh, I can't even remember what these things are called these blue tube things in order to make the uh, deuterium fuel and also we're making the uh, the solar sails in order to make the Dyson sphere components in order to make the rockets and then we're launching the rockets basically as fast as we can. So looking at this, we can see that currently the limiting factor on this is this belt coming through here, which is producing the um, producing the Dyson sphere components, and that's basically going absolutely flat out. Uh, sorry, these that's because these machines are going absolutely flat out because they've got well. When I started talking, they had enough of all of their inputs. Now we don't actually appear to have enough of these frame things anymore, so that's clearly going to be the next thing I'm going to have to work on next time. However, through all of the um, the effort that I put in, we're also a bit short of the um, the blue blue paint that's coming through over there. But I'll talk about that in a moment. Yes. So the um, through through all of my efforts in the last in the last uh, stream, we've, I've managed to increase the production a little bit. So if we go over to favorites, here we go. Small carrier rockets. So well, ten hours will cover the entire last stream and a couple of streams beforehand. So as you can see, back here we were producing them at a reasonable rate back here actually, and then something happened along here. I'm not really sure what. Maybe we ran out of um, the carbon nanotubes or something like that. I, I'm I'm not really sure. So production fell off. Then we had a burst of it working again. Fell and it was a bit spotty throughout. Basically, this was the um the previous stream was this sort of area here, I suspect. And then so at the and in the last stream, each of these presumably each of these chunks is one hour. So about about probably about here, I went right. Okay, let's let's concentrate on getting the rockets working. So I went out and started thinking and, and had a look over here to see what was missing. And the problem was. Basically, we didn't have enough of these quantum processors coming through, and we've now got almost 5,000 in there, so that's going reasonably well. And that has enabled me to get this. Well, there was a big spike there for some reason, um, and then we got a, we got a sort of a general trend going across here. This of uh, maintaining it at this sort of level. We've had a couple of spikes in the um, in the rate we're launching them at as well, because I think I think we don't quite we don't currently quite have the um, the, the uh, rocket launch silo. We don't have the rocket throughput to quite use all of these rocket silos. So if we look in here somewhere, if I can even get in here. Um, well, there's there's quite a lot of rockets on the um, in in the buffer here on this belt, but I think we're not. Mm, Maybe we are. Maybe we are maintaining that. So they they do seem to all be running. So it's, I'm slightly. Oh, but then there's other chains coming out over here. So over here we'll see that there is no backlog at all. So there is room in here to get quite a lot more um, rockets being passed through to get all of the all of these launch silos running. And that's why you can see a bit of a decline in the number of rockets being launched in total. However, the uh, production is now has gone up from being about I, I, I can't even tell what that is. And now we've had an average of 38 per minute over the last 10 hours, down to in the last 10 minutes we have an average of 99. So we've got a, basically we're launching about 100 rockets per minute, which is pretty good. And that means if we take a look at the Dyson Sphere, you can see there's this whole swarm of rockets over here. That are sort of these, these you can see over here that let's let's see if I can rotate the camera to a point where I can see them see them well. Yeah, so we've got this big pile of rockets. This is this is Norvis here. So we've got this pile of rockets that are just all appearing and then all launch and then launching in very very quick succession. As I say, about about a hundred per minute. So that's almost two per second. And they are then able to fly out and start stocking up the um, all of the all of the nodes in the in the Dyson sphere. So over here we've got this one is up to this one's up to 234 out of 270. This is going really well. It's very nearly finished. Up here we've got this one is only at um, is it zero out of 430? Oh, that's, oh no, sorry, I click on it properly. There we go. Um, this is. Oh no! This this one's this one's finished. So it's now it's now just pulling in all the solar sails. This one up here is not even started. This one is um, also finished. So we're doing really well with launching all the rockets out, and that means we're now able to pull out lots and lots of solar sails, which is why this has declined drastically across here. Because of the solar sails that are being launched, we're pulling 
a significant chunk out of them. That's this blue part here. Uh, it doesn't look very significant from here, but when you look at this is this is the number we were launching, and then all of this sort of triangle here has been pulled out. We're using maybe we're using most of the ones that are being launched so we're using them up at about the rate they're being launched but we don't but we don't have enough demand from all of this to pull all the older ones in as well so yeah basically it's, it's going quite well we're launching we're launching lots of um lo lots of sales and we're building everything up quite quickly i also went in and had a bit of a play with the coloring system and colored some of it in blue um it now looks kind of ridiculous but never mind um <laughs> i might do something i might put a little bit more effort into into making it a sensible color a bit later on but at the moment yes you can see all of the um all of the solar sails that's these, these little yellow these blue dots here those are streaming into all of the um all, all of the nodes that are ready to accept them so we're pulling them out really quite quickly we've got three th i'm going to assume that means we've got 3700 being absorbed at the moment so all flying out from the steady stream that are being blown out over here and then pulled in and and yeah we've got and, and then being absorbed and used up, uh, added, sorry, not used up, added to the, to the Dyson Sphere fa fairly quickly. And what's quite most impressive about this is that the generation of the, of the Dyson, the, the power generation of the shell is now at seven and a bit gigawatts, and our requested power is only three gigawatts. We are now producing twice the power we need from the shell alone, and that means we can pull all of, if, even if we pull all of these out of the, uh, the out of the Dyson swarm, it won't matter because we've got enough power available anyway. So we're in a really good position for power. Uh, we're in a really the, the, the as construction of this of this shell is going on really really well. I'd say I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm really struggling to judge what proportion of the distance through the build we are. I'm going to say it's probably about half, but I, I really don't know. But fortunately, as as you've seen, we've been significantly increasing the rate of production of the of these rockets, and they are currently the limiting factor in how quickly we can put things together. So I think it shouldn't take too much longer to build to finish to finish the sphere off. Hopefully, I'll finish it in the next stream. Uh, if I'm not so lucky or not so skilled, <laughs> um, it might be the stream after. But if we have another look over here, where am I? Uh, what's going on here? No, this is the um, this is making other things. I think. Yeah, down here. This is where we're making the rocket. <laughs> so we can see that there is a there is a, there is a shortage. Oh, there's a shortage of processors as well. That's interesting. Uh, so we, where are you getting processors from? You're doing remote demand, but you're not getting any through. That's concerning. We're going to have to have a look at that in a moment. Um, but yeah, the, so the problems at the moment are that there's a shortage of processors, and these frames aren't being brought in as quickly as we'd like, and that's causing some some dips in production. So we'll, those are things we'll need to have a look at next time. But that's next time. So, other things I've done this time. Well, you might have noticed, if you're, if you're familiar enough with the game, you might have noticed that all of these things are now using blue paint rather than green paint. And that seemed like a good idea to just massively increase the productivity of um, some of the things that I really care about. So over here, we've still got the green paint being produced at, an, at what I'm going to uh, admit is an insufficient rate. Um, I, I rejigged some of the belts a little bit, so all of the green paint is now getting put into this tower here. So we've got... 16 in there that's 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 frankly terrible um because some and some of it is being split off over here to go off and be turned into blue paint now as you can see there's not remotely enough going through for this so we're going to need to add in a lot more blue paint a lot, lot more green paint production and maybe increase the blue paint production as well i'm not i'm not sure but at the moment in theory if we put more demand the blue paint goes further so each each blue paint you get 75 sprays out of and it takes two green paints to make whereas each of the uh green paints take you get 28 sprays out of it and it takes um uh and it ta uh, yeah so so if you, if you double that you get that's 56 which is less than 75 so therefore putting in the um putting in the in the um in, in the cut bucky tube in order to make it into blue paint gets you more sprays per paint out of it and we can also hit that with the and then you also get a better um uh, production increase from that so you get 25 percent boost instead of the uh, instead of a 20 percent boost which is again is a fairly significant amount. That means we'll get up to uh, having we'll get we'll get that little bit more out of it. Especially as I'm now painting the blue paint with blue paint to get that to get try and get even even more out of it. So yeah, it's <laughs> it, it will hopefully keep the uh, keep things running a little bit better if I can start using blue paint in more places. But there just isn't enough of the, either of these. So that's going to be another thing I'm going to need to expand. And at the moment we've got. Well, we've got one, two, three, four blocks making making the uh, green paint. There's room for more around here, so perhaps I should put. Perhaps I am going to need to just make, could do some more copy paste of these. Get more and more and more green paint, green paint being produced. Maybe work outwards a little bit. Maybe increase the amount of blue paint that's being made as well. Just generally 
a load of uplift on everything because I just don't have enough of it. And that's causing knock-on effects because the, the whole point of the paint is to increase the, um, inc increase the amount of everything you produce and therefore make your entire factory a bit more efficient. So if we're not producing enough of it then we're losing quite a lot of efficiency in the factory and so things just aren't going to work as well so we need to, need to boost that up. The other improvement I've made over here, and you can't really tell because it is night time, um, <laughs> but I've upgraded a lot of the uh, a lot of the assembly machines around here. So yeah, you can just about tell actually. If we zoom in here, you can see that these are the turquoise ones, and these are the blue ones. So these are Mark II machines. These are Mark III. And if we have a look in here, we can we can look at the buildings. We can see that the Mark I produces at 0.75 uh, speed. The Mark II produces at one time, so that means that goes from there to there. You get an extra third, so 33% boost. And you go from one to one and a half times, so that's another 50% boost. So we're literally going twice as fast as the um, as the original machines, the ones that I'm basically not only using for infrastructure but where I don't care. Uh, so we've gone in, we, we, yeah. So, so just putting these machines in has given me a 50% boost, and that's where a lot of the increase in productivity has come from here. Because a lot of these machines, there, there isn't, there wasn't really room to put more of them in. Like if you look along here, this row is basically full. Now there's some rocket silos in the way because I didn't leave enough room. Uh, but bumping these up to a tier three machine has given me an extra 50% boost, as, as good as actually extending the machines out to about here. So that's helped a lot with the number of rockets that are being launched. However, it has because they're running faster. It's also increased the amount of well everything that's being used up. So making the uh, tier three machines was actually quite easy. Uh, let's see if I can find it. It is very dark around here. Um, <laughs> I wish there was. I wish I could do an always day thing in uh, with a console command like I can in Factorio for videos. Um, so where is it? Yes, over here. We're making the Mark One machines uh, to make uh, to make the Mark Twos. Putting the Mark Twos in a box. Making the Mark Threes. Putting the Mark Threes in a box. Um, and all the only only oops the only other things that were required over here in order to do that was the uh, was the processors which were in this in this uh, where in this tower already. So that was really really easy. Just they were already there. Just pulled them straight out onto here. And also we needed this particle broadband stuff. So that was being <laughs> that was it turns out not being made not being put onto the logistics network. So that was being made over here. So this area was originally producing. Um, um, producing the particle broadband for one of the science packs. I can't remember which one it is, but one of the science packs required this. So this is being made over here. We've got the silicon uh, crystals and then the particle broadband. And it was good. And um, <clears throat> I'd put some belts in to take to start taking it away, but I hadn't ta actually taken the belts anywhere because there wasn't really anything else required it until now. So now there is another belt. There's a belt coming out of the splitter here, running all the way over here, and in a bit of sort of 3D spaghetti, it comes across here goes through here and allows me to make the tier 3 um, assembly machines. So that's quite nice. It means that's a bit quicker. So that's that's great. Now that's a, that's a bit of a side. Oh, that, no, now it now now the sun dawns. Now we can now we can see the the the, the belt going across here. Uh, sorry, so from here up up this way and around here. Now we see it. <laughs> oh, actually, I suppose what I could do is I could uh, turn on. No, I can't. I can't. I'm I'm, I'm in I'm in satellite mode. All right. So. Uh, yes, so that's that's helped by, by, by allowing me to upgrade all of these machines. Um, I've pushed the upgrades through to an extent as far as they're necessary, but at the moment, as you've seen, the, the problems are over here with 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 input resource in, with, with resource input. So there's not that much I can do about this right now. So as I as I was saying, the the big problem that I had at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the um, stream was that there weren't any of the quantum processors available, or at least there weren't enough of them. I think there is a small factory somewhere on this planet chugging, uh, churning them out at a not particularly good rate. It's going to be somewhere out in the dark parts of the world, isn't it? Um, so over here we are making the processors, but apparently not fast enough because the system has run out. What's in here? Oh, no, actually, if we come over here and we tell this tower, actually, I want you to do uh, local demand as well. So bring them in from on planet as well. Then we can use that facility over there. We'll bring those in. This will start working again. So that'll be that'll be an improvement. Um, it still won't help with the mere 804 of these frames I've got. That's going to be a much more complicated thing because I'm going to need to put in a bit more building for that. But, yeah, I had a feeling that somewhere on this planet I was... What's going on here? Oh, these are the these are the drones coming over to get those processors that I just asked for. So there's a massive outpouring of drones coming over here. But yeah, I thought somewhere over here I was actually making the quantum processors, but I couldn't tell you where. Oh, oh wait, yes I can. It's up here. It's here. Yes, here we go. They're being made at a rate, and in this tower there are 14 of them. So yeah, that's that's kind of slow. Um, so they're being made there, and that was, as, as we say, that's not remotely good enough for what's going on over here. So, I went off to another planet, and let's see, I went off to the planet of Scilly, which is this one over here. You can you can tell you can tell Scilly is a rather busy planet, just look at the sheer number of the uh, spaceship, little spaceship things flying to and from it. 
So let's get let's go and have a look at silly indicator on right. Uh, now if I close out from here, I can then um, uh, get out of map mode. That helps as well. There we go. Uh, where is the? I can see the other side, in the opposite direction from where I can see. Never mind. Let's take off. You can now see the Dyson the Dyson sphere. That's um, doing rather well at just you know growing. Uh, no, fly in the right direction, please, robot. There we go. So let's head over this way, and we'll just fly straight through the middle of the Dyson sphere because why not? Choop. It was pretty quick because it's we're going so fast. Right. So over here, is this the right place? No, this is where I'm making something else. So let let's or is it? No, no, this is where I'm making the. No, it isn't. This is where I'm making electric motors. So we'll um we we won't worry about that because it's irrelevant, <laughs> basically. So somewhere around here, it's probably these towers over here. Yeah, this looks more like it. Okay, so over here we are. This this is where I'm making the uh, the, the um, processors and the and the uh, quantum processors. So here we have, uh, we only have 700 and something in here, right? So the the, the first step of making, yeah, let me start the start that train of thought again. So I decided that the best way to do this was to start from pretty much raw materials because otherwise, I, any any sort of demands I put on the system, I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm just going to be chasing the uh, the shortages all the way up the system. So over here. We have iron ore and copper ore being brought in, and silica, uh, cooked silicon, admittedly, but iron ore and copper ore being brought in. They're then passed out out here. We're we're cooking up the um, the the copper ore into into copper, and then turning it into um, in, in, into electronics components over here. This does not seem to be running fast enough. Um, there is there is a uh, it's not a backlog. It's the opposite of that. It's the lack of backlog on these on these belts. So I think I need to boost up the number of these these. Um, furnaces I've got and then possibly the number of these machines I've got we'll, we'll have to see so that's something that's going to be worth looking at then we are making uh, then we're making more copper and iron and using that to make the green circuits then we're combining those green circuits with the electronic components that we're making just up there in order to make processors and this seems to be again the uh, the number of um, components coming in seems to be more or less, which is slowing this down ever so slightly. It is getting nearly all the way to the end, admittedly. But if I come in here, if I go through and I upgrade everything to be better, um, uh, better assembly machines, we're gonna that's gonna give me that nice boost to the productivity again. But I'm going to need a lot more of the um, the other bits and pieces coming in. So what I would what I'd probably do for this is I would no, don't go there, don't go over there. It's always night when I'm trying to do stuff. Have you noticed that? I, I, I certainly have. Is I come in here and I go actually I need a bit more of a bit more of all of this sort of stuff. So let's take that and I want to use it, use it immediately. I'll copy and paste that in like this. Um, and you should do it anyway. There we go. Robot will build all of that up. Uh, we need to then put in a belt across there to link the gap. And now, boom, just like that, we're now going to be producing a decent chunk more copper. Now that assumes that the copper input over here can keep up. Um, and a lot of these belts I've downgraded to, um, to, 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 to green belts, but put stackers in because I, while I was out here, I kept running out of blue belts because they're kind of expensive and I didn't bring enough of them with me. So in an attempt to make things work again, I've stacked the copper up to a stack size of two, and then downgraded the belts to green, which should be about the same sort of level of throughput. And this seems to have worked. So now we have, as you can see over here, we're now producing significantly more copper, and uh, I'm not sure if it's actually backing up yet because there's such a long belt coming down here. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I think that's now started to back up. So we're now producing the copper faster than we're using it, which is great. We can now put, that means we can now produce these uh, components faster as long as the silicon can keep up. And currently it seems to be, so that's good. These components are now coming out a bit quicker, which means those those can come down here, and we're getting more, and then therefore we're now going to be getting more processors out. And so that's going to be then increasing the number that are flowing into here. And so boom, we've, we've got over a thousand. A ship is coming out to grab those. However, that's not why I'm building all these processors. The, um, the being able to take them away in the spaceship, so back over to the planet, is it just a happy side effect. And one I decided was very worth having, which is why they're going in here rather than just being passed straight on. But yeah, we don't we don't want to just make processors. So we're taking the process. We are then taking the processors down here, and then that's being combined with lots of other stuff that's being built in a sort of backwards direction. So over here, we're bringing in the um, the bucky sheets and optical grating crystals because this allows me to then make the uh, these casimir crystals now again this is another stage that appears to be appears to be a bit of a, um, a bottleneck in that they this belt is not full it's not being backed up so therefore we are not making these fast enough and as we come up here we see that we are using those to make these optical gratings that again not being made fast enough because that's the uh, that's the limiting factor on what's on what's going through here 
We have we do actually have enough processors for what's going on here, but that means they, this is limiting the number of the uh, quantum processors that we can make. Now we are using we're using about two thirds of the machines I would estimate as a quick eyeball, but that's not making these machines as fast as I would like to. So I think what I'm going to need to do is do a massive upgrade across all of these assembly machines down here especially especially these ones bring them up to bring them up to um, up to scratch so we can do a, yeah a, a one level upgrade so we can go along here like this uh, like this so I want all of these to now be the tier 3 assembly machines and that as I was saying earlier is going to give me an instant 50% boost on how fast the whole system can run so the question is now having done that Give, having had the 50% boost here, uh, what am I getting stuck on? I don't know. Is are, are these belts still going to be able to keep up? And it's kind of hard to tell. So let's flip over to map mode and have a look at the end. Basically, the way to tell is to look at the end of the belt and see if the machines down here are still running flat out. And they're not because right. So this is this this is because there isn't enough hydrogen coming in. Um, <clears throat> and that is because we're running out of hydrogen of all things. Goodness, sir. there is a lot of it on its way in. There's a lot of it come uh, on, on inbound. But it's all coming in rather slowly. The spaceships aren't flying fast enough, it, it appears. So we've got a full 10,000 requested and actually in transit being brought in. But the spaceships are just so slow. I mean, here comes one now. But the spaceships are sufficiently slow that it's not actually being brought in quickly enough. Uh, that's an interesting problem to have. I suppose this means I probably need to start using these space warpers. But the problem is this system is completely full. So there isn't room to put more space warpers into this into this, uh, um, in, in, into this system. Um Let's put the minimum load of drones up just on general principles. So yeah, the hydrogen is there. There is enough hydrogen in the in the universe. Well, nearly, um, but none of it is being brought in from from parts unknown uh, to allow this system to, to run fast enough. So every so often we get in a, a ship like that drops off a load of hydrogen, and that just goes blip out of here. And as you can see, we've got three blue belts worth of hydrogen coming out, and then we're stacking all that up to a, a double or quad stacked. Um, belt running along here so we're getting we're getting a lot of hydrogen flowing through when it runs but that does appear to be the uh, the limiting factor on this and when it does run actually this gets a good long distance down the row and I wouldn't be surprised if, if the hydrogen could actually you know keep 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 coming this is going to get most of the this will probably get pretty much to the end the problem is because all these machines are hungry because they've been deprived for so long they're taking more than just the just the, the amount they need immediately. They're trying to stock stock up a little bit, uh, which I mean it, it makes sense. And to be honest, it's not going to make any overall difference to the throughput. But we are being we are somewhat limited by the amount of hydrogen that can be brought in here. So perhaps the answer is going to be to put in another tower here <coughs> to to also request hydrogen, and then maybe we'll be able to get it coming in tw twice as twice as fast, and we'll be able to shove even more down this belt. That feels a little bit drastic, but it seems like it seems like a good way to fix the problem. Um, and anyway, the uh, and, and and in order to get that going, we, and we will we are going to need to do some sort of drastic fix in order to get these um the, these processes being made a bit faster. Yeah, we're well, sure we've got 930 something of them at the moment, but as soon as this gets to a thousand, boom, a ship will come along and take them away. So, yeah, it's um it's, it's slightly problematic. Also, I think I might be going to need to head out and get more um more, more graphene being made because it looks like this is going to be a shortage at some point as well. So there's um. Yeah, there's a lot of things where we have a lot of demand and we're just not able to pull enough in. Actually, this this might be because, we've got, yeah, we've got nine of the spaceships from here going off to get hydrogen and then the other spaceship from here going off to get the bucky sheets. And we've run out of spaceships. That's all, all ten of them. So that's another reason why having another tower, maybe another two towers that are just responsible for hydrogen, maybe that would help. And we could then bring in some warp cores to here and get and start the ships flying around a bit faster. So yes, that's um, that, that I, I've uh, done a little bit of planning for next time now. It seems um, <laughs> that that'll certainly help. So uh, how are we getting on? Yeah. So this this is a this is a large construction, but I was able to put the whole thing together relatively quickly because once you've got the basic idea of how to. Once you've decided on how you're going to build things, and I have with this sort of these sort of all these rows that all flow back up again, and so that they can get painted. Uh, once you've got your des basic design up and running, and you know how you're doing things, it's actually fairly quick to build out a large um, a large construction like this, as long as you remember to bring in with enough belts with you, which is my uh, biggest struggle if I have to be honest, if I, I um, if I'm being honest. Um, so yes, this is now running nicely. It's making an enormous quantity of processors and of um, uh, and quantum processors. It's just still not fast enough because the whole system is incredibly greedy. I did also find that we're running out of um, silicon on this planet. So one of the other things I did was put out a load more silicon mines. Let's see if we can find any of those on the day side of the planet. Uh, 
There's one that isn't a silica. There, there's one. There's the, so this is my new sort of system for, for setting up mines. Put down one of the big mining, big um, logistics mining drills down like this. So this is working on most of the patch, but they never seem to quite be able to cover the whole thing. So there's a little bit over here where I put in one of the old, old-fashioned mining drills, and Matt's pulling it out, putting it, passing it round a belt. Who? That's the wrong mouse button. Put it, passing it round a belt here and going into into here. So this can then all, be, all, all of the silicon ore can then be grabbed from there and brought over to my main silicon smeltery, which is somewhere. Not you. Is it you? Are you the main smilicon silicon smilicon celery? Yes, I think you probably are. Um, so yeah, we've got silicon coming in here from various different ways. It's been brought in by um, by spaceship. It's been brought in by, or it's been been, been brought in by drone. In, actually, no, entirely drone because this is a planetary one. Uh, we're then cooking it up over here into the into the actual silicon. Uh, refined silicon, which is going into here where, as you can see, it's under quite a lot of demand. So it looks like I'm going to need to boost this as well, and maybe the uh, maybe the titanium. The, everything is under crazy demand at the moment. So at the moment, it, it's a case of just going back through the up the process and finding out where the uh, where the bottlenecks are. And it looks like the current one is going to be the silicon cooking over here. So I might need to put some more, maybe maybe just another one of these somewhere else on the planet because that seems to be because it feels like the easiest way to do things like that. I wonder how power's doing here actually. I haven't looked at this one. I don't think. Okay, no, we're absolutely fine. We've got 850 megawatts available, and we're using we're using two, almost two thirds of it. Well, about two thirds of it. So that's, that's okay. So that's most of what I've been doing. The other thing that I did have to do, go out and do was the um, the was was for making these these crystals over here, the Casimir crystals. There are two recipes for making those. You can either make them um, the old-fashioned way, which is out of the um, uh, titanium crystals, bucky sheets, and hydrogen, or you can replace the titanium crystals with um, with eight so significantly more but you can replace them with a load of uh the optical grating crystals so i was doing this one because it seemed like a better idea because making these making the uh these things is a real pain because you have to you have to um you need titanium and organic crystals and organic crystals need plastic water and oil and that's really awkward alternatively you can do it through the organic method oh actually i think you might be able to dig these up possibly organic crystals let's have a quick look for that um so if we zoom out far enough, and let's just start looking at other places. Do we have organic crystals on any of these? Yes, we do. So we could go out to Targaryen, or possibly somewhere else, and mine up a million or so organic crystals. from the form Here we go. Al-Suhail has 4.8 4 million organic crystals, so that's really good. We could dig those up. Then I would be able to use this one, where you turn those and titanium into titanium crystals. Um... I don't know whether that's going to be better or not. I mean, that is four input things, but each titanium takes two, two ore to make one titanium. So that's six, seven input things, and this is, and this one is eight, and doesn't, but doesn't require any processing to make to get from the optical grating to the, well, the optical grating crystals. So I think this one is probably slightly better. Given that, I went off to another planet. So let's zoom out again, and that was in, uh, that was the planet of Kyber. I remember the planet's name, but I can't remember where it was. Was it in Precipua? No, no, it was not. Alsuhail. Yes, Alsuhail, Kyber. So this planet out here has, as you can see, uh, six million optical grating crystals. It was. Uh, <coughs> I have a feeling it was eight million before I started, but you know that's how uh, how science goes. You can see how fast that's dropping down as we as we're mining them up in an absolute frenzy over there. And then these ships are dropping out of sp dropping out of hyperspace, coming over here, grabbing a stack of a, th a thousand of those optical grating crystals, and then flying off again to bring them over to here over to um, the system I was just showing you. Um, yes, so over to here where they where they can then be uh, used up as appropriate. So these are these are fine. This is this is working nicely. Hydrogen is so as we say, hydrogen is a problem. Um, bucky sheets might be a problem. I'm not quite sure. I think I need to put in some more infrastructure and to get basically. I need to I need to I need to put down maybe. If I, I've put so I need I need to have hydrogen in two two towers so that I can split the um split the, uh, the 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 collection from because the gas giant doesn't have its own little spaceships um the things you put on the gas giant are just just miners they don't you don't put spaceships in them so they will only supply they won't they 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 can you can only go out and get stuff from them they won't provide stuff to you so having yes I think having another tower access, requesting the hydrogen is going to be a good idea then I'm going to need something is going to need to go in a different tower as well to sort of again to take the pressure off so i can put space warpers in here now the obvious one to do is probably going to be the um the quantum chips because that's the one i have the fewest of um i could use something else and just drain the supply of it that wouldn't be too hard so maybe maybe the bucky sheets i'm not sure but then that will free up a space in each of the towers um, so this one will have this one will still be full, but I'll get rid of say the bucky sheets and we'll put space warpers in there. The other one will just be hydrogen and possibly space warpers, uh, just to get the ships moving a bit quicker. 
and then we'll be able to get things. Then we'll be able to get a much faster input of hydrogen. We'll be able to hopefully then solve the problem down here with these crystal, this crystalline nonsense and get the uh, processes being made a lot more quickly. So yes, lots and lots of stuff to do. Um, <laughs> as, as always, I've, I, I say yeah, I've done. I've, I've made some fantastic progress. We're now we're now building the uh, building the Dyson swarm. Sorry, the Dyson sphere really really quickly and effectively. It's going brilliantly. But you know, there's always still more stuff that needs to be done and and, and more things that could be running faster. Oh, and look over here. We are now actually using up the um uh, solar sails faster than we're producing them so you can see the uh, there's none in the sort of the, in the newest stuff and it's, pu it's still pulling them out as we go along here because they're being used up really really quickly and if you, you can look looking up here you can just see the huge numbers of them that are being pulled that are flying through space and going into the um into, into the dyson sphere so that's going that's going really really well uh, very very happy with that um, and yes, I'm very happy to just pull out as many of these as we want because, because as, as, as previously discussed, we're producing 50% more power from the shell than we need in total. So there's no worries about power. We can just you, if we can de deplete the, um, the, the the swarm, then that would actually be a good thing because it'd be less wasted resources. So that's great. Um, and yeah, there's. It's not trickling. Oh, I can't see it trickling down quite as visibly now, but I'm pretty sure it is. So yes, we're ripping through resources at a hell of a rate here. Okay, so I think this is going this is going very well. Um, next time, as I say, there's going to be oh I can't even remember what all the things I said I needed to do were. Um, more hydrogen here, um, which is actually that that more hydrogen here is going to get me the more processors. Um, actually no no it's not that might actually get me less processors fewer processors. So I think yeah some upgrades over here to make so we can make the processors quicker that'd be a good thing. Uh, more hydrogen in so we can make the quantum processors quicker, um, and then that'll hopefully satisfy all of the um, production of uh, rockets down on, on Norvis. Except no it won't because there's also the big frame things. We need a lot more of those to be produced. And we're really, really short on paint. So I think those are going to be the headline things. Those are the things I'm going to concentrate on next time. Ooh, that's really quite nice. Um, that's really nice, actually. Yeah, we get even more stuff on the logistics vessels. So they'll carry 1,200 at a time. And it looks like we can now fit 1,200 stuff in each of these towers. So that's going to put a load more demand on everything. But never mind. That's kind of why we're doing it. Uh, have I? Oh, I've actually. Oh, I've, I've just realised I've forgotten another step of this. So this is actually pulling in the um, the uh, titanium glass, and that's that is actually being made back on Norvis. So let's fly back over there fairly quickly because I had to make. I end up having to make that on Norvis because um, you need water for it. And Norvis is it? Well, I could have gone out out of the out of, out of system um, to get to get a planet with water, but in 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 system without without doing interstellar transport, which I sort of couldn't be bothered with at the time because it is quicker to do stuff, bring stuff in from close by, or at least it feels like it. It feels feels more efficient. Um, the only play, the only planet with water in this solar system is Norvis. So I did the um, the little bit that was required. I don't know why I came out of uh, warp there, but never mind. Uh, the little bit of it that was actually actually needed the water. So making the titanium um, the titanium glass, I decided yes, I'd better do that on planet. So I put it. So I chucked in a new. Is this this system here? Yes, this system here. Where we're pulling up water. Um, oops. We're pulling in, bringing in stone, which is being made into glass. Then we're turning the water and the tit and titanium from here as well into the titanium uh, and the glass into titanium glass. So that's going okay. We're producing it at a suitable rate, as you can see. If we look in this tower, there's 8,000 stored in it. Now, this is the reason there's only eight, eight, nine thousand is because um, we pulled in. Uh, this was full. Then all of the towers got boom upgraded to 12,000 capacity. So the one out on uh, Silly that's pulling it in uh, went up, asked for an extra 12,000. Uh, sorry, an extra 2,000. So this probably dropped down all the way down to eight. And then it also had its capacity bumped up to 12,000. So it's working quite hard to try and fill this back up again now. But I think that's absolutely fine. It's, it is it is going up, and it has been going, and it's gone up quite a lot since that that effect happened. So I think we're going to be absolutely fine here. We're making this more than fast enough. This that that system for once is actually actually adequate and sufficient so um, that makes a nice change <laughs> uh. <clears throat> right I think that actually is everything now so um, come along on Wednesday I shall be uh, continuing with this game and hopefully finishing getting well either, either finishing it or getting very very close to it so as I've said my plan my um, my goal is to both finish um, finish my Dyson sphere here and finish all of the research in here so I've done all of the technology researches and I'm working my way through the upgrades now. You've seen them popping up as I've been talking. So it's all of the idea is it has to be all of the non-infinite ones. So actually, I need to get that one. Fourteen thousand science, blimey neck. Uh, I'm going to need to get uh, what's that? So that's seven. That's ten. So I've done uh, that. That's that. That one. That one's done. Cargo sort of cargo stacking down here. Yeah, that one needs to be done. Down here. That's 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 a non-infinite one. So that one would need to be done. Uh, that one needs to be done. 
Oh, I need to do that. Oh, no, oh, okay. In order to get this one, I need to do quite a lot more of these. So that's that's going to cause me to do some infinite stuff. Um, but never mind, because I'm in queue that one. In queue that, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have that one as well. That's the first of the infinite, so it, it still counts, as does that one. Right, so, yeah, there's there's a bit, there's a, still a bit of stuff left to do around here. I do need to, um, produce, I do need to do a bit more research, but I'm fairly close to being done, and the science is now, is fairly hands-off, it's just, it's just ticking away. My main goal has, as you've seen, been the, uh, Dyson Sphere. So, yes, Wednesday, I'll be trying to finish that off. Uh, Monday we'll be playing, as is tomorrow, we'll be playing, um, what we're we playing, Factorio Space Exploration with Crastorio 2. That's going really well at the moment. We've uh, done lots of, uh, lots of, lots of, um, lots of us have gone off to new planets to try and dig up new and exciting components. So it's a bit like how I've been going off in this one to going off to get the optical grating crystals and stuff like that. So it's been flying off to other planets to get new and exciting resources. So that's that's, that's been a lot of fun. It's mean it's um it's quite a big job to do. So well, we've got three of us who've been working on it solidly for like two weeks now, um, <laughs> and it's it, it's ticking along gradually, should we say. Uh, catch up videos at the weekend, you know about that because you're watching one right now. And there were two yesterday uh, and the day before for uh, catching up with Factorio. There'll probably be some GTA videos scattered around as well as I have the time to make them and uh, other videos on Tuesdays. So keep an eye on the channel, make sure you're subscribed because there's always going to be lots to watch. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.